What's up everybody, Cole from Geek Life Gaming here, and today we have something special. As supplied by my local game store, we're going to be opening the new a box of the newest Magic Magic the Gathering set, Ravnica Allegiance. Uh, so hopefully we get something good out of this, and uh, if anybody in the local Northwest Ohio area, the my local card stores, whatever cards and games... 113 uh, North Main Street, Ada, Ohio. So let's get into this. I'm almost, I've, I've almost got it. Oh, okay. Are you talking about my thing? I bumped it. It's okay. It does, it does have that fresh pack smell. Up first, Coral Commando, Feral Maka, Concordia Pegasus, Thought Collapse, uh, oh, okay, a Counter Mill spell, that's not bad, Rakdos Roustabout, Stony Strength, Undercity Embrace, Territorial Boar, Rebel Reading, Law Mage's Binding, Angelic Exaltation, Spire Mangler, Azorius Skyguard, and for the first rare we have Warrant, and Warrant will, uh, for two white, two blue, or a white and a blue, it'll put the target attacking or blocking creature on top of its owner's library, or Warden as a sorcery for five with including at least a blue and a white, create a 4-4 white and blue Sphinx creature token with flying and vigilance. And then we also have an Orzhov Gilgate and a treasure token. Next up we have Persistent Petitioners, Scorchmark, Bring to Trial, Another Thought Collapse, Thirsting Shade, Territorial Boar, Rakdos Trumpeter, Open the Gates, Ill-Gotten Inheritance, Another Law Mage's Binding, Enraged Saratok, Senate Guild Mage, Tin Street Dodger, and for the rare we have the Sphinx of Foresight. Four drop, two blue, you may reveal this card from your opening hand. If you do, scry three at the beginning of your first upkeep. It's a 4-4 four, four with flying, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you scry one. And then we got the Rakdos Guildgate and the Human Token. What? Next up, we have Rubble Slinger. Humongulus, Gravelhide Goblin, Gift of Strength, Footlight Fiend, Skewer the Critics, Growth Spiral, Clear the Mind, Sphinx's Insight, Grotesque Demise, Ministrant of Obligation, Macabre Mockery, Sentinel's Mark, Ooh, and we have a, a, what's probably going to be a very decent counterspell in standard, we have Absorb! One white, two blue, counter target spell, you gain three life. Not bad. It's going to be a popular one. It is going to be popular, and so far we've gotten what is basically three Azorius rares. The Sphinx is, the Sphinx is an Azorius card. The Arrestor's Zeal. Shimmer of Possibility. Feral Maka. Undercity Scavenger again. Sagittarius Volley. Burn Bright. Grasping Thrall, Skitter Eel, Debtor's Transport, the Orzov Locket, the first of the new lockets, Windstorm Drake, Hackrobat, Smelt Ward Ignis, and Pestilent Spirit. 
three, including one black, menace death touch, three, two. Instant and sorcery spells you control have death touch. That's actually interesting. It's the first ability I've seen like that, other than it was the Fire Song and Sunspeaker promo where your your red spells had lifelink and it was it was weird, but it gave it gave your instants and sorceries like lifelink and stuff like that with that. But that's that's an interesting one. So that one's most likely with Rakdos, because Rakdos likes to do damage. Spear Spewer, Concordia Pegasus, Quench, Rubble Slinger, Dead Rebels, Sauriform Hybrid, Act of Treason, back in standard again, Imperious Oligarch, Watchful Giant, Burning Tree Vandal, Orzhov Racketeers, Code of Constraint, Incubation and incongruity, and incongruity. And then for the rare, we have Judith, the Scourge Diva, one of the new Rakdos cards. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. She's a legendary human shaman with two, two, uh, three mana, one black, one red. Whenever a non token creature you control dies, Judith deals one damage to any target. Not a bad card. Spike Wheel Acrobat, Twilight Panther. Sage's Row Savant, Rubble Belt Recluse, Stony Strength, Sauriform Hybrid, Imperious Oligarch, Watchful Giant, Burning Tree Vandal, Justicar's Portal, Rhythm of the Wild, Flames of the Raised Boar, Sphinx of the Guild Pact, and for the rare we have Hero of Precinct 1. Two mana, including at least one white, a 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. That's going to be popular in token decks. One of the best token decks I've ever seen it was Orzhov. I mean, obviously it's Orzhov colors, but a lot of the cards used in it were multicolored to make tokens anyway, so that'll be a pretty nice one. Gore Clan Wrecker, Impassioned Orator, Crying Eyes, Noxious Grudian, Dead Rebels, Blade Brand, Titanic Roll, Growth Spiral, Exposed to Daylight, Grotesque Demise, Frilled Mystic, Bankrupt in Blood, Tower Defense, and for the rare, we have Benthic Biomancer. A uh, one drop Simic Rare, Merfolk Wizard Mutant. It adapts for two mana, including at least a blue, and whenever one or more 1 1 counters are put on Benthic Biomancer, draw a card, then discard a card. Okay, that one's not a bad one either. Wrecker, Civic Stalwart, Another Quench. Steeple Creeper, Undercity's Embrace, Grotesque Demise, Exposed to Daylight, Titanic Brawl, Azorius Knight Arbiter, Burn Bright, Light Up the Stage, Gyre Engineer, Wilderness Reclamation, and ooh, the first mythic of the box, the Spawn of Mayhem. Uh, it's a 4-drop four 4-4 four, four demon with Spectacle for 3, including at least 2 black, so Spectacle, you may cast this spell for its Spectacle cost rather than its mana cost if an opponent lost life this turn. Flying Trample, and at the beginning of your upkeep, Spawn of Mayhem deals 1 damage to each player. Then, if you, the player, have 10 or less life, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Spawn of Mayhem. I'm interested to see what Rakdos does. It's the spectacle stuff is interesting. Spear Spewer, Tenth District Veteran, Fairy Duelist, Sagittarius Volley, Rakdos Roustabout, Sylvan Brushstrider, Carrion Imp, Blade Juggler, Watchful Giant, Arcway Angel, Sphinx of the Guild Pack, Cry of the Carnarium, and ooh. The first Shockland of the box, the Godless Shrine, the Orzhov Shockland. Plains and it is both a plains and a swamp. As it enters, you may pay two. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. And we have a foil. We have the Gore Clan Wrecker as a foil. He has Riot and Menace. Spear Spewer, Tenth District Veteran, Fairy Duelist, Plague White. Axebane Beast, Syndicate Messenger, Root Snare, Rafter Demon, Azorius Locket, Blade Brand, Clamor Shaman, Terramander, yeah, Terramander, Knight of the La of the Last Breath, and we have Glass of the Guild Pact. Two uh, two mana artifact. Multicolored creatures you control get plus one plus one. That one's not bad either. 
That one might be, eh, depending on what happens, that one might be decent and standard. I know for Is It Drakes, Is It Drakes obviously run two multicolored drakes, so that'll really be beneficial for them. Savage Smash, Twilight Panther, Consigned to the Pit, Gift of Strength, Raft of Demon, Azorius Locket, Blade Brand, Skewer the Critics, Growth Spiral, Clear the Mind, Skate Wing Spy, Tower Defense, Sky Tether, Awaken the Erstwhile. Five mana for a five mana for a black sorcery. Each player discards all the cards in their hand and creates that many two two black creature zombie tokens. That one's interesting. Gravelhide Goblin, Prowling Caracal, Footlight Fiend, Rampaging Renhorn, Root Snare, Azorius Locket, Syndicate Messenger, Clear the Mind, Rafter Demon, Skewer the Critics, Consecrate and Consume, Scrabbling Claws, Spirit of the Spires, Biomancer's Familiar, one green, one blue, two two mutant, Activated abilities of creatures you control cost two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the amount of mana and ability cost to activate to less than one. And you can tap it, and the next time target a creature adapts this turn, it adapts as though it had no 1-1 one -one counters on it. So far, pretty good. Pretty good box so far. I'm gonna start skipping the, uh, skipping the commons. Yeah. Uh, Shark to Crab, Gateway Sneak, Rumbling Ruin, and the second Shockland. We have the Breeding Pool, the Azorius Shockland. Forest Island, and it, if you do not pay two life upon entry, it enters tapped. Bankrupt in Blood, Pitiless Pontiff, Combine Guild Mage, Ooh. Mass Manipulation, XX and 4 Blue, gain control of X target creatures and or Planeswalkers. That'll probably see some play. And then we have a Foil Knight of Sorrows. Reading pool goes there. Zerta Goblin, Knight of the Last Breath, Blood Mist Infiltrator. Lumbering Battlement. 5 drop, 4-5 uh, beast. Vigilance. When Lumbering Battlement enters the battlefield, exile any number of other non-token creatures you control until it leaves the battlefield. It gets plus 2, plus 2 for each card exiled this way. Vindictive Vampire. Regenesis. Forbidding Spirit. Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Or Priest of Forgotten Gods. Two drop black, one two, tap it and sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature. You add two black mana and draw a card. Not bad. And we have a foil enraged Ceratoc. Four drop, four four, enraged Ceratoc can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. You have her? Her? <laughs> Fire Wheeler. Carnival and Carnage. Swirling Torrent. And we have the third shock land of the box. We have the Hollowed Fountain. It enters unless you pay two or less, and it is a Plains Island. And then oh, I got a foil Carnival and Carnage. <laughs> Here we have Sunder Shaman, Gate Colossus, Drill Bits, ooh, Seraph of the Scales. This is one that I actually looked at a little bit. Flying, 4 drop, 4-3. Four, For a white mana, Seraph of the Scales gains Vigilance until end of turn. For a black mana, it gains Death Touch until end of turn. And when it dies, you create two 1-1 one, one white and black spirit creature tokens with flying. Now, is this our second? That is the second mythic rare that we pulled. I think we should get 
one or two more. I think there's about four or five per box, I think. Traditionally, there's about four or five, not counting any foils. Hold on. Depose, deploy, gatebreaker ram, smelt ward ignis, and lucky us, our box has a second absorb in it. Girl beast master, drill bit, cavalcade of calamity, Precognitive Perception for 5 mana. Draw 3 cards. Addendum. If you cast this spell during your main phase, instead you scry 3 and then draw 3. For the... If you're casting it for 5, for the... for the If you're scrying 3 first, then I guess that's good. So you would have to cast that during your main phase. Other than that, I don't see spending 5 mana on 3 cards. If you get a scry, yeah, because then you can see what you're getting at least, or tailor what you're getting, but... Anything, anything, yeah, no. Hackrobat, Biogenic Upgrade, Junk Troller, and the Theater of Horrors. Three mana, a black and a red, enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you exile the top card of your library. During your turn, if an opponent lost life this turn, you may play cards exiled with Theater of Horrors. For four mana, including a red, Theater of Horrors deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Who would they come up with the names for some of these? I don't know, but I, they're playing they're they're playing off the fact that Rakdos is like the carnival now, because originally you didn't have a lot of that. You just had demons and stuff. Fire Wheeler. Eyes everywhere. Resolute Watchdog. Verity Circle. Three mana enchantment. Whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card. And for five mana, you tap target creature without flying. Clamor Shaman, Wall of Lost Thoughts, Spy Spirit of the Spires, Gutter Bones, Skeleton Warrior, one black. Gutter Bones enters the battlefield tapped. It's a 2 1, and then for two mana, return Gutter Bones from your graveyard to your hand. Activate this only during your turn and only if an opponent lost life this turn. Recurring Skeleton. Yeah, it's basically a, a newer version of Recurring Skeleton. And then I got a Foyo Root Snare. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. One more, it's a more expensive fog. Windstorm Drake, Smelt Ward Ignis, Clan Guild Mage, and the third mythic of the set. Uh, my buddy was actually telling me that he's actually looking for this one. This is the, Mesmer the Mesmerizing Benthid. When it enters the battlefield, create two zero two 2 blue illusion creature tokens with whenever this creature blocks a creature, that creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Me uh, Mesmerizing Benthid has hexproof as long as you control an illusion. Uh, yeah, uh, my buddy Lane, he's, uh, he's looking for like that card and maybe one other. He's not looking for a lot out of this set. Oh, shit. <laughs> From what I've seen, even of the spoilers, um, this the, this sets superior to, or no, this sets inferior to uh, guilds guilds of Ravnica. The fir the set pre pre previous to this, the first set I think was a lot better, but there's still decent cards in this. Angelic Exaltation, Basilica Bell Hunt, Essence Capture. Oh. And here we have the fourth mythic, Hydroid Crasis. It is an X blue green. It's a jellyfish Hydra Beast. When you cast this spell, you gain half X life and draw half X cards. Round down each time. Flying Trample. When it, it enters the battlefield with X, 1-1 one, one counters on it. Okay, so you get the counters on it equal to the X you paid, but then you're gaining half of that X and drawing half of that X. 
And we have our first foil rare. We have Unbreakable Formation. It's an instant creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. And then Addendum, if you cast it during your main phase, you put a 1-1 counter on each of those creatures and they gain Vigilance until end of turn. Rhythm of the Wild. Gates Ablaze. Dovin's Acuity. Rep repudiate and replicate counter target activated or triggered ability okay that one's nice and then create a token that's a copy of target creature you control both of those are very nice cards the uh the repudiate is kind of like uh kind of like disallow because disallow countered a spell or a uh, or an ability repudiate doesn't counter the spell but it does counter the ability which is pretty useful both halves of that rare are very good Dagger Caster, Zertar Goblin, Syndicate Guild Mage, and Raise Forerunners, an 8 drop, 3 green, 7 7, Vigilance Trample Haste. When End Raise Forerunners enters the battlefield, other creatures you control get plus 2 plus 2. And gain vigilance and trample until end of turn. <laughs> Mortify, Wall of Lost Thoughts, Gatebreaker Ram, and a very, very happy Rakdos the Showstopper. Six drop legendary creature demon, flying trample. When Rakdos the Showstopper enters the battlefield, flip a coin for each creature that isn't a demon, devil, or imp, and you destroy each creature whose coin comes up tails. And he's a 6-6. Six, six. That is fantastic. I mean, you're not going to be popping everything that's not a demon or an imp or a devil, but you, you're not going to destroy any of yours, which is awesome. He, he's amazing. I know someone who's going to be wanting him. <laughs> <laughs> Rally to battle. Swirling torrent. Macabre mockery. Bedeck and bedazzle. Target creature gets plus three minus three until end of turn, and then destroy target non-basic land. Bedazzle deals two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. And then I got a foil persistent partitioners. Enraged Ceratok. Skatewing Spy, Collision and Colossus, and we have four of the five shock lands. We now have Blood Crypt, the Swamp Mountain. I think the only one we need left is Gruel. We need Stomping Grounds. And then we have the Cavalcade of Calamity as a foil. Woo! Uh, Tiny. I actually wonder if we're going to be able to pull stomping grounds out of this box. Well, I pulled all five shock lands out of the box. Which will be nice. That would be nice. Because I will go ahead and purchase all five of them. <laughs> I need them. Galloping Lizrog, Screaming Shield, Sentinel's Mark, and Amplifier, an elemental four drop, one one, at the beginning of your upkeep. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Until your next turn, Amplifier's base power becomes twice that card, the revealed card's power, and its base toughness becomes twice the revealed card's toughness. Put the revealed cards on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay, so he's not milling you. He's sending them back in, which is pretty good. Uh, Silhana Wayfinder. Bullrat Clan Crusher. Crusher, I should say. Cult Guild Mage. And now we have the non foil Unbreakable Formation. The creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn, and if you cast it during your main phase, they get plus one, plus one, and Vigilance in addition. We have four packs left. Consecrate and Consume, Clear the Stage, Carnival and Carnage, and then we have the Gruel Spellbreaker, 3-drop Ogre Warrior with Riot, so it enters with your choice of a 1-1 one, one counter or haste, and it has, it's a 3-3 three, three with Trample, and as long as it's your turn, 
you and Gruel Spellbreaker have Hexproof. That's a decent card. <laughs> we have Depose and Deploy, another Sohana Wayfinder, Resolute Watchdog, and the Simic Ascendancy. To a uh, blue and a green enchantment for three, including a blue and a green, you put a one-one counter on target creature you control. Whenever one or more one-one counters are put on a creature you control, you put that many growth counters on Simic Ascendancy. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Simic Ascendancy has twenty or more growth counters on it, you win the game. <laughs> um, put it in a put it in a put it in an Atraxa Commander deck. You will have twenty counters on that in no time. Because it, because proliferate is any oh, permanent yeah. with any type of counter. Yep. You will win the game so fast if you put that in a track set. Okay. okay, hope your last mind. We have Orzov Racketeers, Mortify, Gatebreaker Ram, and then for the rare we have Lavinia, Azorius Renegade, a white and a blue. Legendary Human Soldier 2-2. Two, two. Each opponent can't cast non-creature spells with converted mana cost greater than the number of lands that player controls. And whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, you counter it. It locks down free spells. High alert. Trollbred Guardian. Fireblade Artist. And for the last rare of our box, we have Immolation Shaman. So we did not get the Stomping Grounds. We missed out on one Shockland. But Immolation Shaman is a 2-drop, 1-3, Viashino Shaman. Whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact, creature, or land that isn't a mana ability, Immolation Shaman deals 1 damage to that player. And for four, uh, 5 mana, Immolation Shaman gets plus 3, plus 3, and gains Menace until end of turn. Well, that was our box opening, so let's get a quick review in here. We have Warrant and Warden, Immolation Shaman, Lavinia, Simic Ascendancy, Gruel Spellbreaker, we have Unbreakable Formation as a normal and foil rare, we have Amplifier, Blood Crypt, Bedeck Bedazzle, Rakdos Showstoppers, and raise forerunner, repudate and replicate, unbreakable. There's the foil unbreakable formation. Hydroid crisis, mesmerizing benefit, gutter bones, verity circle, theater of horrors, precognitive, precognitive perception, seraph of the scales, the hollowed fountain, priest of forgotten gods, lumbering battlement, breeding pool. Mass ma mass manipulation, biomancers familiar, awaken the erstwhile, glass of the guild pact, the godless shrine, spawn of mayhem, benefic biomancer, hero of precinct one, Judith the scourge diva, pestilent spirit, sphinx of foresight, and two absorbs. So that overall was not a bad box. We missed one. Uh, Shockland, and we didn't open any Planeswalkers, but two Absorbs, we got a lot of good stuff in here. So, once again, that was Cole from Geek Life Gaming, and we'll see you next time.